Hey everyone, Voro here with the flight video of the Aeroworks 37 inch Extra 260 EP3D. I'm going to start things off pretty quick here into some rolling loops and we'll slow it down, show you guys everything about this airplane, how fast it can fly, how slow it can fly, a variety of different maneuvers. So right now we have the throws set at about 50 degrees aileron, 60 degrees on the elevator, and then full throw on the rudder. Throughout this video I fly on high rates the entire time so you can see just how maneuverable this airplane is, along with a couple precision maneuvers such as a slow roll and a couple snaps. One thing I found this plane could not do was a snake. I tried a couple snakes with it and unfortunately it did not want to do it that well. However, Fortunately enough, that was the only maneuver I found that this airplane could not do. Everything else it could do very, very well. Rolls are very fun. Hovering is very easy. Knife edge is incredibly stable. The stablest knife edge airplane I have ever flown over some of the 3D foamies. So knife edge gets a big thumbs up, and so does hovering. And as you can see right now, we're going through some rolling harriers. And they're very easy. Not a lot of correction needed. Just nice throttle management, it's very docile and very easy. Inverted Harrier is very simple, it just kind of putts around. Same with Upright Harrier. You can just, you can fly this thing extremely slow, even indoors, or you can fly it very quick. As you can see, this is exactly how stable Knife Edge is. You can literally just rip the rudder and tilt it and then go the other way and then rip it again and go the other way and it will not fall out and that just amazed me. Again, you can pop into a hover from a Knife Edge. Very, very fantastic that the knife edge is so stable and there's so much authority on that rudder. As you can see what I was saying earlier, hovering very easy, just very slow, just kind of sits there. Not much input needed. One thing I found about the rolls, as rolling harrier is simple, Watch out because some of the sometimes the rolls are a little inconsistent. Let's do some quick turnarounds here. Quick turnarounds I found are really fun, a lot like a 3D foamy. Very, very responsive quick turnarounds, and you can mix it up a little bit, try some different things. Makes for a nice combination. Roll into a hover here. Again, a ton of rudder and elevator authority. You can pretty much do whatever you want right into torque rolling and pop into a knife edge and fly away. As I was saying earlier, Upright Harrier is surprisingly stable. It just kind of putts around.
A lot of airplanes sometimes t tend to drop a wing when upright Harrier, as you can see this one does not do it. Let's get back into some torque rolling, really quick torque rolling. It will roll really quick when torque rolling, but again, there's not much input needed. It's really fun to do. Surprisingly not that difficult to do. I found in pop tops, such as that one, pop tops, blenders, any kind of high high G maneuver. If you go really hard into it and rip it, it does not seem to maintain the momentum. Meaning as soon as it goes one or two rotations, it kind of dies out. When you see a, um, a larger airplane or an airplane with a little thinner airfoil, they tend to maintain go five or six more times. It gets a better sensation. As you can see right there, full throttle blender did not go very long, so that's one downside I found to it. Is it doesn't seem to maintain its momentum through power maneuvers. Other than that though, this plane does everything else perfectly. Some full throttle rifle rolls. It can get rolling pretty quick, so stay on top of the rolls. show you guys just how fast and how stable it can go in knife edge and we'll come around and do a nice little slow roll again all in high rates so as you can see it can be flown very slow or very fast and maintain complete control the entire time so this is a great airplane to learn 3d even to learn intro to aerobatics I would suggest this airplane too it flies very light and very easy let's do a knife edge spin and I found this was actually pretty fun to do alright guys that's all for this review if you guys like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button tell all your friends it really helps me out a lot the more videos that I can put out the better Meaning the more likes you guys do, the more videos I can put on, the more giveaways specifically. I'm going to be giving away a Thunder Power battery here pretty quick, so keep an eye out for that. And check out my complete review and my indoor demo. Till then, have fun flying.